Hey you guys, um, it's early in the morning here. It is like six something, it's like, I don't know, it's before seven o'clock in the morning. But I had to get on and tell you um, some stuff that's happening. And hopefully this is to encourage you guys. I've heard from so many people about how you feel inspired, about how you're um, planning to come visit. Some people have booked um, houses. Some people have helped to get houses and it's been a bit of a challenge sometimes, but we've done it. Um, someone was just here visiting, um, actually is here in town right now. Hey, what's up, Oscar? Um, but I wanted, you know how I always tell you guys that I do lots of practice to help me live the kind of life I want to live. It, oh my goodness, sorry. I had these wild animals. These wild animals who were knocking over my, um, sorry, my little setup here. And as you can see, this is early morning. There's no frills here. This is just what it is, right? Um, but I wanted to tell you guys, like, look at what's happening. So, you know how I always tell you that I journal? Hang on, let me get my journal so I can show you. Okay, so I have three things I want to show you. One, this is a journal I got. It says, there's a chicken. The chicken is on my roof. <laughs> I love this chicken. Look, okay, you have to see the chicken. I would just jump down into the yard. Okay, I, and I fed it already. Where's the chicken? Hi, chicken. Come say hello. Come say hello. I already gave it popcorn. It's down in the other yard. This is my magical life here. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so my journal, I... Sorry, it's kind of crooked now. Anyway, sorry. So I said this is called my thoughts. Can you see that? It says my thoughts. And so I got this journal for Christmas last year and it should have been finished by now for sure. I'm almost done. I'm, I'm at this, I've got that much more to go, right? And I, I definitely kind of fell off for a minute. But remember I've said in so many videos, journaling, 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 because, and I like to journal sometimes in the morning, either in the morning, like first thing in the morning when I wake up to kind of set my intention for the day or at night. At night is really good too before you go to bed to kind of put whatever it is in your mind that you want. And I, when I do nighttime, I do like what I call creation journaling. So what I want to create in my life, how I want to feel, what do I want to manifest, how do I want my relationships to go, how do I want my financial life to go, what do I want to look like, how do I want to feel, just all those kinds of things. And then you go to, go to sleep with that and then your, your subconscious gets to work busy, busy, busy bringing all of it to you. So I've been doing this and look at just, okay, so here's the blank, right? These are the last few left to do. But all of this is what I've been working on for this year, right? My first entry was, what was it? Well, here's this is December 31st, 20, December 27th, 2019. Merry Christmas, okay? So less than a year, I'm almost done with this. And this year has been magical. And I know 2020 has been nuts for most of us. I mean, myself included, it's been kind of weird. But honestly, you guys, I've had an amazing year. Leave the chicken alone. Oh my gosh, my two kitties. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, they're about to get the chicken. This is a, you guys, if you could see the madness that is my life. Okay, and <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you guys are probably sick of this chicken. One cat, one cat on the wall. That's the kitten in the yard. And another kitten is over in the patio. That's what you just heard. But this chicken comes back every single day. I, I, I don't, I can't explain it. I just gotta take care of myself, look. I feed the animals, I feed my child. I can't keep everybody alive, I, I just cannot. So anyway, the journaling for me has been like a roadmap. I put in here all kinds of things about, um, Okay, so here's one. This is from March 30th. Good morning. I am supernaturally blessed and living in overflow, right? And it's a whole like pages of this stuff. Um, everything goes my way. People treat me with great respect and love. I receive preferential treatment and divine benefits. I have an overflow of money, health, wealth, good friends, loving family, happy relationships, joy, and peace of mind. That's the kind of stuff. That's to give you a little insight. Now that's my super personal stuff, right? That's just one random day I just flipped to. Let's see what else here. Um, oh, then I have my, I did the 40 day, see this 40 day prosperity plan. That's that little book I showed you. And I wrote every single day for 40 days, you guys, a discipline, right? 
exactly these notions of prosperity and the little booklet I showed before, it's called the Abundance Book, kind of gives you a step-by-step -step for those 40 days how to do it. So that was just like financial prosperity and abundance. But there's loads of things here. Oh, I did a whole thing on um, just different aspects of my life, um, spiritual life, um, health and wellness, um, relationships, career, uh, family. I did, I did, I've done journaling on all of those things. And I have to tell you, my life is kind of awesome right now. And um, I have begun to get, I woke up this morning and saw a person, I can't even really call her a client because I don't think we worked together before, not officially. This person in California was like, can you do this? Do you know anybody who can do this deal for me? I only have this much money to spend. If you can make a recommendation, I was like, yeah, hello, I'll do it. And, you know, possibly made a little deal in addition to what she suggested. So it just keeps coming and coming and coming. And I'm not like for a while in my career, I was working, working, working to really, you know, find the business and create the opportunities and 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 kind of hustle the money. Right. In that sense, we think of like hustling. And now stuff is just coming. And I'm telling you, it is because I've put so much effort into setting my intentions and being very, very purposeful about what I choose to think, who I'm engaging with, how I'm engaging with people, like not getting caught up in, in, um, in trivial stuff, in pettiness. I don't, I don't, I don't have time, um, for that. I don't, the sun is coming up. That's why I look so shiny on this side. You want to see the sunrise? Sorry. And I keep stopping, but look at this beauty. Can you even see that? That's what I mean when I say it's very early. Um, but it's it's all about how you choose to focus your energy, you guys. It's so important. And I thought I should stop this morning because I was in my regular morning routine. I came out of my patio with my journal. I did my little quick, I just did a quick, quick journaling thing this morning. Not like pages and pages today. I did like a paragraph or two and that's it. Just to like drop it in. And the more you get um, kind of trained in it and accustomed, when I say trained, I mean just like in terms of the discipline and, and making it your regular practice. The more you do that, whether it's journaling or meditating or prayer or just speaking positively, the more you practice choosing your thoughts and not just letting random stuff come in your head and take up space. No, you decide what you think about. You decide how you're going to view the day. You even decide how you're going to consider or perceive challenges that happen. Trust me, I've had plenty of challenges. Plenty. I'm a single mother who brought her child to an island where I knew no one. And that's just this, that's just this. I, you know, I, my first job, I made $600 a month here, $600 a month, people, and my rent was 700. I had a little savings, I had no car for like two years. I was riding on little motos, the back of motorcycle taxis with my child, terrified in some instances. I had two moto accidents, on myself trying to drive these, these scooter things. <laughs> you know I mean? So I've, I've been through some stuff, I ended up, in the emergency room one day because I crashed, you know, it's nobody's fault but my own. And you know, I mean, so I've had all these different things wondering where are we gonna live and how is this gonna work? But I promise you, I promise you, if you just continue to focus your thoughts on everything's okay, even in the midst of what seems like disaster and the worst, just believe that, thank you God, this is gonna work out for my benefit. I know the universe is always conspiring to do good for me, to bring me the best. I don't care what it looks like. You may have some bad health report. You may feel like, oh, my money is trash or I'm going through this horrible divorce or whatever it may be. Continue to believe that in spite of what you can see in the background, back there like there's beautiful trees, just like this, right? So here I may be like, oh no, the sky is falling, but in the background is beauty. And look at the abundance of flowers popping up. Look at what's possible. Do you hear those birds singing? Come on birds, cue the birds. <laughs> there we go. So you see what I'm saying? Hello. Is that you don't get caught up in what it looks like in the moment. You believe in the supernatural, the power of the cosmos, of this incredible universe that we're living in that gives us silly chickens in our yard and funny moments and beauty that you see behind you, behind me. Um, kitty parade. Um, you know, opportunity that just comes from out of the blue. You believe in that. Okay, here's two more examples of things that happen. Now, you may also remember, you may also remember I was talking to you recently about um, YouTube and how like I, I wasn't monetizing because some glitch with my address and blah, 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 and I tried to fix it. It's been this whole big goose chase forever, right? And again, the monetization, it's like, 
honestly, every time they play an ad on, on, a, on a video, it might give you a few cents. I mean, it's just, it's a little drop in the bucket. Like I said, it's really, it's for the benefit of YouTube and the advertisers. Creators are not making money off those ads. I mean, maybe if you have millions of subscribers and you know, you got uh, dropping videos daily. I don't know, I'm definitely not in that category. I'm just little old me doing my thing. I'm a little engine that could, <laughs> chugging along out here. Um, but still, it was kind of like, it was a nice milestone to get to. So anyway, um, but anyway, all that got shut down because the address was wrong, you know, wrong country, just whatever. But look what I got in the mail the other day. You see that Google AdSense? Somehow, somehow, I don't know how, but somehow they found me and they sent me what I needed. And here's the information that I needed to put into the, the blah, blah, blah to fix me up. And so now, sorry, you'll see ads again. And so I'll be making my five cents here and there. But, but the point of it is not so much about the monetization part. It's just that, I mean, like literally days after I was saying, sorry, I don't know what's going on. People have been asking me, here's what's up. Boom, this shows up. I had no idea. I don't know. I don't even know. And even better, even better, seriously. Look what else I got in the mail on the very same day. Now this, I'm not going to hide, oops, hide this information. But this, I guess I'll hide all of it, right? This came to me from a viewer. Look what I got. A thank you note from a viewer because she's just so grateful. I took some time out and I spoke to someone who had some questions about kind of how I transitioned into this life. And, um, you know, she just wanted to feel kind of inspired. Someone who is in a job that she's not loving and wants to do something different with her life and is considering some different options, leaving the US, all that kind of stuff. And so I took some, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes one day or something and spoke to her about what my path was and how I have done the things that I've done and you know how I'm continuing to grow and take risks and do things like that. And so she sent me this lovely thank you note, which I thought was so sweet that she took the time to write me and express her, her gratitude and everything. So I just want you to know that really that touched me. Thanks so much. Um, I tell you guys all the time, that's really the part for me that makes a lot of this worthwhile. You know, I mean, I enjoy it because it's just fun to see, like I go back and look at some videos sometimes and go, wow, look at that one, I remember. But, but knowing that I am helping people, that I'm touching people and helping them feel better, helping them feel inspired, truly, you guys, that is a part for me that I'm like, wow, it's amazing. Because like right now I'm sitting here in my garden by myself with the exception of these animals, <laughs> you know, talking and hoping that it lands with somebody but then I hear from you guys that like, oh yeah, when you shared that part about, you know, something with your son or the challenge you had that you overcame, you know, your whatever about leaving the US or just the beautiful background makes me feel good sometimes. And, you know, the messages you send that are uplifting or seeing you just regular, right? Clearly not fancy, not dressed up. There, this is like not a stitch of makeup, nothing's happening. This is just me first thing in the morning. I do brush my teeth for you though. Well, for me, I really brush my teeth for me. Um, but just, just saying this is what it is. Um, that's the part for me that really makes me feel really good and inspires me to continue to do these, these videos. So I do have some things coming up that are more like DR based, like some stuff where we went on some different little trips around and I will share those with you. I have another property video. And honestly, you guys, I've just been kind of lazy. I haven't been in the mood to edit. So I think I'm probably gonna farm some of that stuff out because I just have so much going on. But I did want to stop in and send you this, this love as always, and these messages, give these to you because I thought that was important that you know, the more, again, that you become very intentional, just like in the morning you go in your closet and you choose, okay, I'm going to wear this shirt and these pants or this dress or whatever. You pick, you decide, you choose what you're going to wear. You choose, okay, what do I feel like having for dinner tonight? Be that intentional about what you think. Be that intentional about what you choose to allow to occupy your mind space because this is the control center, right? This is like the compass. This heart center lets you know if you're going in the right direction, like, oh, it doesn't feel good. I don't like the way they, that person talked to me. This job makes me feel sick. I'm bored in my life, whatever. But this is the control center, right? This will guide you. And this is how you decide what, how, what's going to come to me. Right. If I focus on all the negativity, I could be like, oh my God, there's bugs and ooh, there's a chip in the paint and oh, this is wrinkled and I'm like, oh shit, I don't feel right because I'm not. 
oh, can I tell you how awful would my day be if I just woke up and found problems? Oh, I got this on my face and I should, meh. no, no. I've shown you guys, I'm like, look, see my gray hair. I've, <laughs> you've seen the best of me in some cases and you've just seen the reality of me. And I think that's fine. And so choose how you decide to think about what's happening in your own lives, how you think about your own body, how you think about the way you look from day to day. And I don't mean like when you're all beautiful and prettied up and you know smelling good. I mean that too, that's wonderful to celebrate that, but just your regular old self, just, just choose to feel good about who you are in this moment and every moment. Choose to think about, it. and if there's things that you don't like, well then change them, change them. If you have a funky attitude, if you know you're kind of a bitch, then stop, it's not hard, just stop. If you're super critical of yourself or other people, you don't have to be that way, you know? You don't have to be a pessimistic, um, like grouchy person. I don't care if you came from a family of abuse or people were mean to you, you know better, right? Especially if you came from family like that, you know better. So you can choose to do differently by yourself, by people in your family and by other people that you meet in the street, you can just be pleasant. You can smile. You can just, even if you don't have to say anything out loud, you can just sort of wish them, hope that person has a really good day, you know? Um, there was some stuff that happened in traffic the other day, you know, just people being upset. And I was like, you know, I don't know what this person's deal is. Maybe they had a horrible morning. Maybe they're hungry, you know? Maybe this person isn't getting what they need. And so let me just send them a little bit of love and hope that they do okay. That's what I'm talking about. Choose how you see things that might norm normally be perceived as problems or obstacles. Choose to see them in a different lens. You hear me, right? And more importantly, you feel me, right? That's my message to you. And that is how, for those who are like, wow, how should you do that? And that's how I'm doing this day by day. Um, I mean, I work hard sometimes, right? But it's not that I'm just constantly grinding. I talked about grinding. Grinding is like wearing you down. I'm not just always in that hardcore work mode at a certain point there gets to just be a flow it's just a flow and and then things just start coming and so anyway I don't want to belabor this point I think you guys have it now um day's getting started I need to get my child up get breakfast get the lunch packed and get to the gym so hope you have a wonderful day evening night wherever you are morning and uh, stay tuned for more love you bye Mwah. Thanks, you guys, all of you. I appreciate your love back.